G'day guys, Jeremy from TACMED Australia. Studies have shown that medics and paramedics are terrible at estimating external blood loss. Today, we're gonna to show you a method that's gonna improve your estimation of external blood loss for patients. We all know the blood on the ground, it looks like spilt milk, okay? And medics generally really overestimate how much blood is actually on the floor. So today, we're gonna to show you the MAR method. Right, so we've got three piles of blood on the floor. I want you to have a think, just a quick look at this and estimate what you think the blood loss for one, two, and three is. And this is on a concrete floor that's slightly uneven. So this pile in front of me here, when they did studies, there was 120% increase in the estimation of what, or overestimation, of what paramedics thought that was. So, using the MAR method, one fist over the blood is approximately 20 mils of blood. Now this can make, change with the different factors. If it's dirt, you can have some blood that'll absorb into the dirt. Uh, if it's concrete, it might run a little bit. Um, but generally, a fist is around about 20 mils of blood. So, one, two, and a bit is gonna give us 50 mils, which is what we poured out there with a syringe. So, puddle number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That'll give us 240 mils of external blood loss. And we know that we poured out 250 mils there. So that is quite close. Right, our third and our largest. Some people would estimate that this would maybe a litre or more of blood loss, especially because it's running down on the concrete. Using our MAR method, we're gonna do our fists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and we'll say 29. So 29 fists, whereas we actually know that we poured out 500 mils of blood there. So with the running off of the blood, we've overestimated, but not, not by a great amount. So next time you're estimating your blood loss of your patient, just have a think back to the MAR method and you'll find you'll have a lot, uh, a lot better accuracy in estimating the blood loss. Thanks for watching.